What's up guys, Daniel Jeffries here. Thank you for joining me on the very first episode of Create a Character in the year 2020. The very first of this new decade. I hope I don't mess it up. In truth, I've had this video done for a while now, except for the voice work. I'm only just getting around to that, and it's mostly because I've been pretty busy lately. If you're new to this segment, here's how it works. I take random words from your suggestions in the comments below throw them into a hat, and whatever I pull from that hat, whatever combination, I have to make a character concept from. No matter what the combination, I have got to make it work. In today's video, I pulled a post-apocalyptic cyborg hacker with a flamethrower who is short and undead. So starting off, I had a pretty good idea of where I wanted to go with this drawing. I didn't have to do a lot of sketching. I was pretty dead set on what I wanted to do. And the funny thing about this video is it being a zombie cyborg is I've had this done since about Halloween time and I'm only just posting it after New Year's. So it's just unfortunate that I'm just now getting this up because it would have been a much more fitting time period around the Halloween season to get it up there. If you're familiar with my process and my other videos, you know that as I'm developing a character, I like to come up with a narrative for that character. And in this case, I figure that this is an undead scientist. Prior to dying, uh, the apocalypse happened and he just couldn't bear knowing that he was going to die soon that he didn't have the answers of how to fix it. So he created a cybernetic body that he began attaching to himself as his body started to fail and it wasn't complete prior to death. And I figured that he would be scrounging around uh, wherever he could find any kind of parts that he can mend together to create more of a sustainable body and that would allow his mind to continue to try to figure out how to fix everything. I figure that this would be a side character in a video game that you would come across and maybe think that on first sight it was an enemy because he doesn't look friendly. He's, you know, got his skull showing through this metal entanglement all over his body and his natural body is obviously failing. It's uh, withering up, and it looks like he's gone through some starvation prior to death, and just does not look like the friendliest type of guy. But I would imagine him being an ally who would want to help you help him. And I, despite him having a flamethrower, I figured that's so that he could protect himself from any kind of enemy types. I've been doing these creative characters for a while now, and I know that this one took a while to get up, but I have a few in the pipeline. If you guys have any suggestions, I really enjoy doing these. For those of you who are here because you really like my fan art, don't worry, I'm going to be getting back to that as well. I have a few project ideas for the near future. So as we're coming up here on the end of the video, you can see I'm putting in some final details. I'm happy with how my decision to try to make the body look a little jumbly so that it would look difficult for the character to move around worked out, in my opinion at least. And here we have the character sheet, and like always, I like to breathe a little bit of life into my characters by animating them, so here we go. If you liked that video, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, you know, typical YouTube stuff. Also check out some of my other videos, and until next time, I hope you have a good one.